Another important thing, the elasticity model, why, uh, what's the benefits we have uh, from it? We have, we have a damping effect of the occlusal forces. That means we have a stress breaker. I think that's very, very important. The patient feels comfortable. And another thing is, I think we have to investigate it more, but from my clinical experience, we have some uh, corrections mm -hmm. of a missing passive fit. What do I mean by that? that uh, at the moment, uh, we cannot do optical impressions from the mouse on implants. So we always have to use a blaster model. We can use special techniques to have the best possible, um, uh, best precise model. But always there can be in all these chains of fabrication a small error. So if we screw a bridge upon implants, four, six, or eight implants, there might be some incorrections. And if we screw it on, so if we have a rigid, a completely rigid structure, so we move the implant. And in the case of the peak bridges, we just move the bridge. And the elasticity is so much below the bone that all these um, uh, movement is compensated by the bridge and not loaded to the implant. And that's why we haven't seen any single case of bone resorption or peri-implantitis on all the clinical cases over the six years. So we are always very astonished about this stable bone and we will see it later on in the clinical aspect as well as the, the gingiva.